I grew 40 crispy crunchy radish in a single seed tray. Here's how. First of all, I hope that you're all keeping safe and well. I experimented with a slightly different way to grow radish this year and I grew them in a seed tray. I'm going to show you how I did it because the results were very impressive. Now I started off using a 40 cell seed tray but obviously if you don't like radish as much as we like radish then you don't need to use as many cells. You can use a 24 cell or a 12 cell or whatever. So the first job is to fill the seed cells with compost. Now of course ideally you'd be using your own homemade compost but if that's not available you can use any commercially bought good quality compost. And in actual fact you can use horse manure which you'll see later. I'm going to show you some radish that I grew directly in horse manure. So once you've filled your seed cells with the compost, firm the compost down. And when you have that done, top up the compost so that the seed, tra the seed trays, the seed cells are nice and level. Set that to one side and get another tray or container and you're going to fill this halfway with rainwater, preferably if you have it, but if not tap water is fine. And then set the seed cells into this so that they can soak up the water from the bottom. What we're aiming to do is have these seed cells completely soaked. Now what you need to do next is take a seed tray, one which has got uh, holes at the bottom for drainage, and in this case I'm using manure but again you can use your own homemade compost or commercially bought compost, and fill this up a third to halfway with whichever medium you're using. And once you've done that Flatten it down so it makes as level a surface as possible. Now the seed cells that we had soaking, we're now going to stand those seed cells on top of the bed of manure or compost. Now I'm sowing French breakfast seeds here. The earlier ones, like I said, were Topsy, I think. And I think there was another one because there's a purplish colored uh, radish. So what I'm trying to do is get the radish seeds as close as possible to the center of the cell. And then I'm going to push these down one and a half centimeters. The matchstick that I'm using has got uh, graded lines on them. The, each line is half a centimeter, so I'm going down three lines, which is about one and a half centimeters. And once that's done, just firm the compost around. Because the compost is soaked, just firming it down from the top will make good contact. It'll ensure that there's good contact with the seed and the compost all the way around. And now water the bed of either manure or compost, whichever you've used. Give it a good soaking.
Now from this point on I haven't been watering the seed cells so if and when this seed tray needs water or the radish growing need water I'm just going to water the bedding in the seed cell in the seed tray and then press down the seed cells to make sure that there's really good contact with the bottom of the seed cells and the bedding because as the roots grow they're going to push out into the nutrient-rich bed of manure or compost. Now I sowed these on 22nd of May and this is the 4th of June so you can see they've all germinated and they're all growing away really strongly. A couple of them have the roots starting to appear there and what I'll do now is I'll show you the earlier ones that I've sown. Now the bedding that I used was a mixture of horse manure and my own vermicompost. Some are a little bit bigger than others but you can see a single cell was ample room to grow some nice firm fairly big in size radish. I mean this is about the size we want to eat them so they're really perfect in size. So this is the medium, this is the mix of uh, vermicompost and manure and you can see the roots pushing out there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to harvest some of these because we'll have some of them for salad this evening. I'm really pleased with how these have grown. That purple one, I, I think I had a mix of uh, seeds in, in that tray. No, I just wanted to show you this. The perceived wisdom is not many seeds will grow well in fresh horse manure, if any grow at all. And this, these uh, French breakfasts were grown, were sown directly into horse manure. Now it was fresh horse manure. And when I say fresh, what I mean is if it was any fresher, it would actually still be in the horse. And you can see that they have, oh, I can't remember how many, sell, uh, many seeds I sold in here, but I'd say more than 90% of them germinated. And they've all grown really well. And that was directly sown into warm, well, steaming actually, fresh uh, horse manure. So I'm just going to harvest some of these as well for tonight. That's the little radish harvest there. I'll clean these up now and we can have a better look at them. And that's it. I hope you'll agree that they that's a nice little collection of radish, all grown in a seed tray. Now what's really interesting to me about this is, about the way this worked out, is that uh, the recommended number of radish in a square foot garden is 16, I think. And a square foot garden, if you, if you use a square foot, it's uh, 12 by 12, 144 square inches. And the seed tray is 14 inches by 9 inches, which is... 90 and 36, 126 square inches. So this, the square inch area of the sea tray is less than a square foot garden. And you get three times, using this approach, you get three times as many radish as you do out of a square foot garden. So I was really impressed with how these grew. And the other thing that I like about this is it shows really that you don't need much space at all. In fact, 
you almost don't need any. All you need now, if you want to grow your own fresh organic radish at home, is a seed tray. That's it. Okay, well, I hope you found that interesting. I was uh, just curious to see what the results would be. And I, I honestly don't think I'm going to give over any more garden space to growing radish when I can get such good results out of a seed tray and the seed tray can literally be put anywhere. So I was really pleased with that. I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching. Bye for now.